Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving the VPN error 789 on your Windows computer. Uh, the L2TP connection attempt failed because security later encountered a processing error during the initial negotiations with the remote computer. If you continue to receive error messages, you can enable logging for analysis and we a little check mark, enable logging, and then for logging options, see diagnostics. Logging applications or logging options can also be accessed by clicking the remote access preferences menu item under the advanced menu of the network connection folder, and then it gives you an option to redial, close, and diagnose. So hopefully it should be a fairly straightforward tutorial here, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you come back a registry editor. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you are prompted with the user account control window, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and import, navigate to the file location, so pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to go ahead and double click on the H key local machine folder to expand that. And now you want to look for the system subfolder here, so go double click on that as well. If you need to pause the video or slow down, you can check on the top of the registry editor here. You see the path that we've gone under up to this point. Each backslash is, will be a different folder we have gone through up to that point, so just keep that in mind. So anyway, we've expanded system. Now we're going to do the same for the current control set. So expand services, and then finally there should be a policies folder, so you just want to left click on that once, so we're just going to locate that. You could also just click on one of these folders and just start typing the name of it, but I'd rather just scroll down and show you guys. So, right here, policy agent, and you can see our path up at the top of the screen here like I addressed a little while ago. So now on the right side, you want to create a new D word value. So I'm actually going to have this in the description of the video because it's so long. And I will also have it in the description of the video. I'm actually going to include it in the description and on the screen too if you want to type it out. But I'm going to make sure I include this for you guys. So uh, we're going to go right click in a blank area on the right side. Select new and then select D word 32 bit value. In this new value data field, you want to paste this in here. So it says assume UDPE encapsulation context on send rule. First letter of each word is capitalized and the UDPE is capitalized as well. So again, assume UDPE encapsulation context on send rule. No spaces in here. Then you want to hit enter. I'm going to make this column a little wider here too just so you can see the full name of this. And now you want to go double click on this value. Set the value data to the number two. Base, hexadecimal, that's fine. And then go ahead and select OK. Would suggest closing out of here and restarting your computer and see if that has resolved your problem. Another thing you can try if you're using a third party firewall, try disabling that because there's a chance that it's blocking one of the critical ports or network connections that it requires. So just consider disabling your firewall temporarily and see if that resolves the VPN issue. Might have to set up an exemption or exception for that. So just worth keeping in mind for that as well. And then finally, there is one further thing we can try once you've restarted your computer and you've exhausted those options. And that just be to reset your network connection settings. So I would make sure you have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby, so if you're using an ISP provider, so make sure you have your Wi-Fi name and password that you're going to have to enter back in because we're going to reset our network connection here. So make sure you have that before you proceed with this final step here because you're going to have to re-enter back in your Wi-Fi password once you restart your computer. So anyway, once you've retrieved that, you can unpause the video and we're going to now type in network reset best match, you come back with network reset directly above system settings. So go ahead and left click on that. 
Network reset. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. It's going to ask you for sure you want to reset your network settings. Make sure you close up any open programs and applications because you're going to have a five minute timer before your system will be automatically restarted once you select yes. So you can see the system is going to shut down in five minutes here. So pretty straightforward, restart the computer and that's about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.